forgotten. This is my Naruto Manga 606 chapter review. Now, I would like to say this chapter was very informative. You know, I well, started off with Obito walking right past Kakashi and grabbing onto Ben and thinking about Madara's plan, the Moon's Eye plan, and it seems like that just contributed to him being 100% socially involved and down to do it and it seemed like it wasn't a game to do or it wasn't a trick it was a real battle and Kakashi really killed Rin and that was that that was the end of her and then it goes back to Obito talking to Madara and Madara is just putting his complete faith into him showing him his genjutsu and how the moon side plan will work it looks like Madara's are ready to do something similar but in order to get everyone caught in the gen genjutsu all at once is why he needs the moon and all of the jinchurikis basically all the tail beasts I'll say so what's going to happen next you know cause as we see after that we see him talk talking to Zetsu about Nagato and having the running gun how he somehow managed to give Nagato the running gun without Nagato even noting which is weird how do you transplant eyes into someone without them even noticing which is very weird to me like you pervert how did you get into my house and what did you do with my real eyes and how did he know Nagato had the Senju lineage but I guess it was just the red hair I don't know how they came across him but they did and he has the eyes which is as to why Nagato was so powerful okay well this has seems to be the end of Madara of course we know it's not but for a momentary time until Obito was supposed to have revived him but they all well Madara has to give his thanks to Kabuto for bringing him back and of course Madara has to give herself credit for being able to break the seal on the Edo Tensei and take his freedom back Okay, so next week I'm sure we're going to go on to seeing the Akatsuki, well, not being formed, I would say, but having the red clouds and changing their agenda instead of peace to collect an Intel beast, and how he was manipulating um, the Mikage, the attack with the fourth Hokage, all of that stuff we're going to get into, maybe not next week, but of course we're going to see the formation of the Akatsuki and how it all started and so forth well we know how it started but like why their agenda changed and how he befriended them and convinced them that he was Uchiha Madara but he did a pretty pretty swell job Obito such a young boy but I mean he's so young but the thing about it is he lost his love and he's willing to do anything to bring Rain back so the promise of a dream world where anything, all happiness, is just there. Anyone would want to go there. I want to know, guys, would you want to go to a dream world like that? Would you consciously say, Madara, I accept your moon's eye plan, and I want to be involved? I don't know. I like reality, but then again, reality can really, really be tough and sickening these days. But hey, we're going to see how it turns out. I know we're not going to really see any fighting, so you guys just sit back, relax, and get ready to be informed. So, until next week, tell me if you liked it, you hated it, you loved it, you didn't care, whatever. I just want to know your thoughts and opinions on it. I think it was very informative. I would have liked to see a little bit more concerning Nagato and the Akatsuki, but hey, I guess that's all in next week, and Kishimoto's finally trying to save up all of this suspense when we could have been saw the real Madara and Obito fighting Kakashi, Sai, Naruto, and B, but whatever. So guys, until next week, I really hope you enjoyed it, and have a wonderful day.